All right, from Lagos, let's cross over to Abuja and talk to Jane uh, Francis Nweze, our correspondent in Abuja, uh, who was at the official handover uh, from the Sport Ministry to the Sports Commission. Jane, if you can hear me, talk us through the process. What was it like when the Sport Minister, uh, or will I say the former Sport Minister, uh, John uh, Owen Eno, handed over to the chairman of the National Sports Commission, Alhaji Shehudiko? Well, good, uh, good evening, uh, Promise. Uh, it was um, a whole lot of talks, and uh, the former Minister of Sports Development was trying to outline some of the achievements of um, uh, during his time as a sports minister, as well as various things that are still pending that um, was very important that the National Cost, uh, Sports Commission you know, follow up on. Top of it was the um, the benefits uh, promised to the silver winning Super Eagles team from Cote d'Ivoire, you know, earlier in the year. And then all of our outstanding projects uh, like um, the stadium or infrastructure development across the country that he's, um, um, his ministry was working on during his time there. So those were some of the things. Uh, but then you also uh, have the new man, uh, the new sheriff in town talking about the fact that they want to do things differently in the National Sports Commission. Uh, they want to break the bottleneck of having to run sports through a ministry. They want to create jobs. He laid emphasis on why it's important that we take sports seriously and create so many jobs and document those jobs so that we stop counting the victories of sports on the basis of what trophy was won or what gold medal or how many medals were won at tournament he, um, he tried to say that it's, it's not as if it's not important to win medals, but then there's a lot more sports can achieve and we can't just you know, focus on um, winning medals, which is maybe one of the reasons why we get it very wrong uh, in the country. Absolutely. And uh, I, I, I hope he was able to react to questions. Uh, I mean, has been generated. I mean, a lot of questions around. Cheryl Diko, we know him to be a staunch football administrator, Hopefully, he doesn't become a chairman of uh, a football commission, but chairman of the Nigerian Sports Commission, because um, some fears have been um, um, hoping that he doesn't concentrate too much on football because of his background um, in the round leather game. Jane Francis Nweze, our correspondent in Abuja, you'll be monitoring proceedings and all the action and all the activities of the Sports Commission from the FCT. Thank you so much for joining us this time. All right.